So AMD's next generation Zen 3 based CPU lineup for desktop, codenamed Vermeer, has just leaked out. So it's a combined leak from Igor from Igor's lab and the guys over at Video Cards. Now Igor recently posted a bunch of details about AMD's upcoming Ryzen 4000 series desktop Vermeer and Ycry supplemented with the leak of his own information. Unlike Renoir, which is built on the mobility platform based on Zen 2, AMD Vermeer is the true successor to the 3000 series on the desktop today. This leak also confirms the existence of a Mammoth 16 core based on the Zen 3 built for the mainstream desktop market. We've already heard some extremely tantalizing things about Vermeer, including huge IPC gains and the iterative performance far outpacing Intel's 14 nanometer on both compute and gaming sides. Vermeer will be manufactured on TSMC's 7 nanometer process, likely to be EUV, and will be a big step up from the current generation of Zen 2 processors. It looks like nothing can stop AMD on the rise to dominance in the x86 market. Now, in case you were wondering, the primary differences between Renoir for desktops and Vermeer for desktop is the former is an APU platform while the later is CPU only. Vermeer will not feature an iGPU and will, of course, be based on Zen 3 cores. Renoir also represents an interesting experiment from AMD as it's their first venture into high-end APU use and probably why they're aiming first at the budget market with Zen 2 and Vega based iGPUs. The real cherry on the top for the ultra enthusiast and the professional market is going to be the Zen 3 based Genesis Peak which will succeed the current Threadripper series. So once again, we're seeing a total of five OPNs leak. Three of these are eight core based parts with two of these are 16 core based parts. Now I mentioned in our Renoir APU leak, OPNs have to be taken with a grain of salt as these are primarily for OEM systems and may not translate to the consumer market on a one-to-one -one basis. That said, we will almost see at least a couple of these come to the retail market. For the 8-core parts, the three listed variants have a clock speed up to 4.6 GHz and interestingly the base clock is set to 4 GHz which is a pretty big number and there should help in general speed up of responsiveness in general use. One variant has a maximum turbo of 4.4 GHz and a 3.8 GHz base. Now the 16-core parts aren't lacking in frequencies either, both parts can clock up to 4.6 GHz and have a base clock of 3.7 GHz. All of the OPNs mentioned have an A0 revision which means that we're looking at very early engineering samples and will feature a unified L3 cache. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.